Well, hello, man cavers. How are you doing? Rain has stopped play. It's a horrible, miserable day, both here and 24 miles away where the Bonzer is, which is where I was going today. But as you see yesterday, it's in a field, a flooded field, and it's raining. Not ideal. So, rain stop play. We're going to have a look at this beast. Do you remember I put it in the boots the other week that you ought to see going? Well, this beast did come out on the list. So I think we're going to roll them credits and see if we can get this monstrosity here to fire up. I mean, it's a beast. Right, roll the credits. Welcome to the man cave. Let the games begin. So folks, I have a battery at the back here. I'm going to connect these two wires up, get my jumper in this thing, and give myself a shock if it comes on. Right. Let's... Now, this is a, what did someone call these? They're old school inverters. Dy, dyna, dynameter, dyna, dynagen, motogen, something like that they called them. Dynagens, motogens. Let me touch this wire on. Well, nothing's happening. Flick this switch. Nothing happening. Okay, does this thing, let me turn this off the battery, electricity scares me, all right, let's take this, all right, that's spin all right, I can spin it with my fingers, look, if you can see, we're spinning, and it appears to be spinning, very freely, there you go, yeah, that's spinning very freely, the only thing that does sound a little bit scared, that sounds a little bit barony. Alright, probably where it's been sitting for years. Um, let's put a little bit of WD on this end. And on that end, bugger it. There you go. We've got a bit of WD on them two end bearings. There we are. Maybe you shouldn't be putting WD on electrical stuff. I think this is our... I don't know what it is. Alright. Nothing's happened there. Which end is our 12 volt end, guys? Well, we have a wire come underneath. All right. So we've got a wire go underneath here, which comes up here to this voltmeter. So that's obviously your outputs. And this is an output. How the devil's this been wired up? Oh, I see what's happened. Right, yeah, right. This socket, this light bulb socket, is connected to this voltmeter and so is this. So I'm guessing this is going to be our 240 output. Ah, I'm getting the gist of this now, right. So that's our 240 out this end. And this is our input end, here. So, there we are. Yes, we've got two set, we've got two, 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 two rotors. Stator plates, whatever they are, stators. We've got this one and this one. I'm assuming this has got to give you one kind of output and this one's going to give you another. Look how black that one is. I'm sure that isn't right. I'm, yeah, that is off the battery, right. Okay, so... Do you reckon we should clean them up? And then see if we've got... I'll tell you what we'll do first. We'll check continuity on this switch. Because I assume this switch is to turn this thing on and off. I need to check where the wires go. Oh, it does come off. Right. 
So we've got two wires on the back here go into that switch. Right. Oh, I see. So this red one here goes down into the motor. And this one comes to your battery. And all this does is switch the power between the two. Right, I see. I can see a little set of moving contacts. There's a little set of moving contacts here, look. So let's get the old lady's nail file and just clean these contacts up. It might be something as simple as this why it ain't working, you know. It might just be dirty contacts on this switch. Of course, the old switch is old. That's a baker light one. Oh, yeah, we've got the switch on now, so that's pushing that contact. Right. That'll do. Let's get a bit of contact cleaner on there. Yeah. And we'll give that a second to evaporate off. Oh, that's definitely off now. Let's get a multimeter. I think I can be taking my damn hat off. Let's get a multimeter on this switch and see if we've got continuity across that switch. So let's pour multimeter. We don't want it in horseshoe mode. We want it in another mode. There should be nothing now. All right, let's turn this on. Now we've got continuity. And off. On. Off. Right, we know our switch is working. Mm. Yeah, we know our switch is working. So let's connect this back up to this battery. Yeah, that's dried off now, look. I'll put the little cover back on. What a lovely little switch. I just want to check again which was on and which was off. I can't remember. Down, on, up, off. Right, okay. So up is the on position. Off position. Right, now let's spark this thing on the battery. And see if it do anything now. Wow, look at that. Whoa! Turns out it was dirty. It was dirty connection in that switch. That's all it was. So this thing is cutting some capers. And look at the V's last putting out. That's going straight over with the gauge. Look at that bugger. Well, you certainly wouldn't want to get your hand on it, would you? Now then, all we've got is LED bulbs. But I'll pull this one out of the shed. She's been up there a number of years. God knows if it worked, because the light that's... The light's harness that's on, hadn't had a wire to it since we've lived here. So whether this bulb is good or bad, I do not know. But I'd like to see if we're getting any Vs out of this. But I think this is a DC only. And that means we can't put an LED bulb in here. So we'll try this one. Look at that! It run a bulb! How? How? Wow. That's quite cool, isn't it? What wattage is this bulb? She's a glowing fairly. Do you know how so old the damn writing has worn off it? Oh, look at that! I tell you, that's a damn good tool. That's giving us some good light. 
Oh no, bugger. I don't know how long a 12 volt battery would last running that thing, but let's have a look what kind of V's we got coming out of this. Because my voltmeter go to 250. Now, where do we want this thing? This is different to my blue one. DC. No. Ah, DC voltage. That's horseshoe move. Wow, well, this machine, I don't think do it. And there ain't no point going on to AC with it. DC voltage. Oh, 1,000 volts. What's HV? I don't know. We'll stick her on and see. Let's have a look. Ow! Right. Can you see that? Let's get some light on the subject there. Let's see what we got here. 275 volts, look. Right. Now, if I go jamming somewhere else, where do we get a higher output from? What about in the front here? Nothing? Well, we're getting 547 out of them front ones. Right, this thing scares me officially. But it's working. And I actually, that's quite a cool machine. And look at it. Isn't that quite cool? Tell my mate Vincent to love this right up his street. There. Classic. I think this would power your Nintendo Switch, Vince. Put 275 volts into it, or in the back air, put 540 into it. I think we'd be doing all right. So there we are, guys. This is a shorter video than I expected. I think our battery's getting low, because our voltage... A slowly dropping from 250 look. Oh, look at the battery go down look. I think our battery might be getting low guys. We're down to 200 volts. And the light is getting dimmer. Ooh. That bulb is hot. Well, there we are. Well, it works. What am I going to do with this thing now? I really don't even know what I'm going to do with this. Do you know, if any of you guys want it, make me an offer, and I'll send the damn thing to you. <laughs> to be honest, it scares the crap out of me having bare wires there with 275, and bare things at the front with 500 odd, yeah, but it is a really interesting thing, but I just don't know what I'm ever going to do with it. Now, I bought this on a whim, oh, 10 years ago, I think. Yeah, I bought it on a whim 10 years ago, off a bloke, when I went to look at a diesel engine, he said, look at this thing. And it weren't on the board or nothing then, it was just this thing. And I don't know whether I overpaid, but I give him 80 quid for it. And this was years ago, because I liked that. And he said, you put par in this end, get 240 out this end. And I put it on here. I bought this meter off a rally. That's a big gauge, in case you're wondering how big that gauge is. It is, in old money, six and a half inch. In new money, 16 and a half centimeters. 
And this dynamo, if you're wondering, is seven inch long and four and a half inch wide. And the whole thing is about, what, 14 inches long on the board. And as you can see, 11 inches high. So, if any of you guys are interested in this thing, I mean, it owes me 80 for that, and I think I give 30 for the gauge. But it works. And I don't know. But I'm happy to post it to somebody if they did want it. <coughs> Let's, while we're here, I want to see what that body come up like. Do you know what I mean? I want to see what she cleans up like with a little bit of WD on it. A little bit of an oily rag finish on it. Do it actually. I've unplugged it, yeah. There we go. Oh, she come up nice, look. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Give it an oily rag finish, and you can clearly read that writing on there. Yeah. We can read that writing on there. No clear as day, look. 500 volts there. 275 there. It was given out bang on 275 there, and I think it was given out four. 470 this end ah that's cleaned up a bit now that's been running yeah 275 oh there's the make ah rotary transformer look let's turn this flash off see if you can make that more audio audio air yeah, more visible there we go rotary transformer made by Is that Leyland Electronics USA look? So it's American. Tells you what brushes it is. Brilliant. So there's the specs for it. Rotary Transformer. Now we know what it is. Leyland USA. And it is in really nice nick. No broken mountains on it. Oh, you get your brushes out there. There's a little wheel you undo and you can take the brushes out. More brushes in here, I assume. Oh, there's... Oh, yeah, and you unscrew them little brass ones, and these brushes come out. This thing's real easy work, but saying that everything back then was designed to be fixed. So that's going to be it for this video. I was kind of thinking there might be something a bit more interesting with this. But I say I've got a period Bakelite switch. Really nice springy switch. A nice period voltmeter. Oh, that cleans up lovely. That's just dusty, you know. There we are. Yeah, that was just dusty. That's come up really clean. Yeah, there we go. So if any of you guys want this thing, let me know. I'm happy to post it to you. And there we are. I think we're going to call this video a day. I expected it was going to be a little bit longer than this. I didn't realise it was as simple as um, a switch. Now, if any of you guys do buy this, I highly recommend you probably make a, make a slightly safer job of the wire. And instead of having these two bolts sticking out the back here which have got your 240 volt on i did notice i got a plus and a minus on here so we know where to go but there you go i would recommend it be rewired so these weren't such a danger or at least cut the damn things off and put some plastic bungs over them but you imagine this thing running and you grab a hold of the back there and yeah that ain't gonna be very good is it that's gonna make you nib well, there we are, guys. It all works. What else can we say? The rotary transformer works. Right. I'm going to leave the video here. And we will see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now. Ha-ha! <laughs>